welcome to my channel my geography learning channel today we break 10s we're going to look at the ozone layer which is found in the stratosphere so it's a continuation of your con geography content now what is ozone i've prepared some definition for you here ozone is a gas that is made up of three oxygen atoms and it is found in the stratosphere remember the stratosphere is the second layer that we find in the atmosphere why is ozone important in the atmosphere ozone is important in the atmosphere because it absorbs uv radiation which we call ultraviolet radiation this out this ultraviolet radiation is very very dangerous in the atmosphere and causes problems for plants and also us human beings what problems does it cause it causes eye damages growth of eye cataracts it kills plankton which are the green uh, plants within the atmosphere it causes skin infections skin irritations damage to plants damage to plants also automatically means our crop yields will be destroyed or they will reduce sunburn also people have problems with sunburn it means they've also absorbed some uv radiation and skin cancers also so uv radiation causes problems for us now, as a geographer, it is important for us to know what are the causes of ozone depletion. And why we look at ozone layer is because ozone is continuously being depleted by products that we are releasing in the atmosphere as human beings. And if we do deplete this ozone, it will mean that the, all these problems are not going to be resolved. Now, the next thing is we are going to look at what are the causes of ozone depletion. What causes ozone to be depleted in the atmosphere? Causes of ozone depletion. The, co the first cause of ozone depletion into the atmosphere is the release of chlorofluorocarbons so firstly we have the release of chlorine in the atmosphere the, what are the main sources of chlorine where does this chlorine come from Main sources of chlorine are one, our CFCs, which we we'll know them as the chlorofluorocarbons. Known as the fluorocarbons. Where do we get these fluorocarbons? These are released by our aerosols. Example would be our insecticides, our deodorants, body spray. Also be released by our fridge air conditioners melons from fire extinguishers Volcanic eruptions, exhaust gases, from our jet aircraft.
all these sources are the sources of chlorine. Please take note of them and I go with the class. Now what happens when chlorine is released into the atmosphere? When chlorine reaches the stratosphere, it breaks up the ozone and one chlorine ion can continue to react in the next 10 years so it means if it can continue to re react in the next 10 years, it continues to break up this ozone and it continues to be depleted with time and with time. And like we said, this is not very good for our atmosphere. So what are the ways to reduce ozone? Ways to reduce ozone is by using ozone friendly products we also have the Montreal protocol we also have the Montreal protocol where we have international delegates We had international delegates agreeing to replace CFCs with ozone friendly products by twenty ten. Will the ozone will the ozone recover? That's the next question. Yes, it will so long we continue using ozone friendly products. Yes, the ozone will continue. It will recover so long as we use ozone-friendly products. Make sure you use your ozone-friendly products, your deals, your sprays, your insecticides. Right, I hope you found the lesson for that. Please continue to subscribe in because there will be videos each and every day. Every single day I'll be uploading videos on geography content that might help you during this lockdown. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.